I remember, Mike, you were saying in uh, in a previous interview I was listening to, uh, you were just kind of disgusted with the the corporate response to to Pride, which I started to really notice. Like I hosted a show at the Stonewall Inn for six years, which I stopped doing in like 20. 19 so Good even, for you. <laughs> even though that well well i loved it i really loved doing it it just got to be too much and i was i was i just had too many projects coming up and i was like okay i have to let this go um also the guy i was working with was like a huge pain in the ass but i just was like you know what? it's worth it yeah. like, you know like i was willing to bend over backwards but the point is like even years ago i was i was seeing this i was like the corporations are sinking really too much into pride in a way that like is not authentic and i and I know in an interview you were like, yeah, we don't need corporations now. Like, where were you guys in the 90s when we really could have used help? Because they care so much, don't <laughs> they? Because they care. <laughs> Citigroup is your friend. Yeah. That's really what all of this is about, is to just put a, sort of a happy, rainbow, smiley face on top of corporate authoritarianism, which is yeah. what is happening. And I think if people are, oh, God, and don't get me started on, so I don't know about, I don't know, like, what you consider yourself but for me I, I'm really not I don't consider myself a conservative I think I think it's it's just I have I, yeah I think I have too many porn star friends to really <laughs> fit in that group and I'm too much of a degenerate whore to be part of that group so <laughs> yeah. I uh but I think it's it's only because things are so crazy far radically left that uh, people like us are considered conservative but um the conservatives and the Republicans drive me crazy with the fact that for so long, they'll talk about standing up to government power, but you will never hear them talk about standing up to corporate power. And that is every bit as much what's needed right now, because what we're seeing is really sort of the fusion of big government and big corporation coming together. The, these corporations at this point are basically becoming state actors. Um, where they don't even need to pass laws. You know, if every business won't allow you to do anything, then what, then they don't really need to pass laws. If you can lose your job for either not getting the jab or for even in so many cases, having your own opinions and speaking your mind, the government doesn't really need to do all that much. Right. And they don't need to overstep and, uh, get into trouble. Although they're doing that now too. Well, oh yeah. Oh, big time. But like, uh, I guess not as blatantly they can just, I don't know. It's, it's not as in your face to, to those that are like deeply brainwashed. So and, and I think that's part of to go back to gay shit. Um, Let's I go back to gay shit. <laughs> story of my life. <laughs> um, I think that's really, uh, you know, if you look at all of the indoctrination and stuff that's happening, especially with kids, I think it's because that's sort of an easy way for them to grab kids early and indoctrinate them into this ideology. Because, you know, it used to be that it's really, you know, you look at it when when someone is when some group is in alignment with every single corporation, with every single bank, city group, hedge funds, all of them, you're not oppressed. Um, mm. So it's really, you know, it's really like a billion dollar industry, the alphabet industry. And it's always been in the past that um, LGBT people are really only like five percent of the population which is friggin' depressing for my love life, but it's just a fact. Um, so I think that's why there is such a focus on gender now with them because everybody has a gender. So that allows them to have their hand in every single cookie jar and get everyone, That's uh, that increases their market share really from 5% of the population to 100%. Now they're in your kindergarten, they're in your preschool, they're in your locker room, they're everywhere. Um, and I think that's really just a way of like hooking kids early and being like, you might have gender confusion. Hey also, child, you might be a lesbian. Also, it gives them access to a wider range of celebrities. Like, whereas before, like, right, they would have to get a gay or a lesbian celebrity on the set. Well, now you can just be like, Demi Lovato, aren't you pansexual? Oh, what I are you this that. week? Are you demisexual? Like, whatever you are, just pick one from this chart. We'll, we'll put a press release out. We got you, girl. Ugh. Don't get me started. The demisexuals and the oh my god, Ugh. I knew that I used to back when I was a liberal. I because you know how like I had this friend who was like a straight white male, which you're not allowed to be with them, of course. Um, and he was like very immersed in being around all the SJWs, so he decided that he can no longer be a straight white male. So he decided on the day of Pride that he's going to come out as demisexual. Which I had to look that up. Oh, and there's a flag. There's a flag. He had the he wrapped himself in the flag. 
Um, which I had to look up what that means. It means you only like people that you're emotionally attracted to. Oh, so he's a chick. Okay, got it. <laughs> how original. And, and then he like ripped friends. me a new one on. It's terrible how you speak about the LGBT XYZ element of P semicolon ampersand square root sign symbol community. And like getting back to your point about like Citibank, it's like, really, Citibank, are you really going to be there for me when I come out to my dad and he yeah. kicks me out of the house and I'm sleeping in my car for a month? Yeah. Like, really, <laughs> Citibank, are you going to help me set up an account when my parents cut me off because they didn't, they can't handle my... Birthday, I, first of all, I, I, I kind of hate my parents for being accepting. Like, I wish they would have cut me. Like, I could have... Some conversion therapy could have done me good because... I don't want to have to date these friggin' people. They're horrible. They're insufferable. You're like, they could have been a little harsher. I know. Uh, like, giving me like a little jolt or something. 